embarking on something really important and I commend you as I commend all of you for your great ideas and your dedication to those ideas. <coughs> Sorry about that. Our next speaker is Zach Breckenfeld. Uh, I can't wait to see what he has to say. Thank you, Zach, for joining us tonight. This is yours if you want right. to advance. Thanks. Hi, my name is Zach Breckenfeld. I'm here to represent uh, my partner and I's part-time firm, Beck and Breckenfeld Yacht Design. The designs being presented are focused on expanding the current marine industry beyond the borders of its traditional market archetypes. Current marine industry market practices concentrate on those individuals who are already involved in the industry's sphere of influence, generally targeting current boat owners, prior boat owners, and those that work on boats. The standard marketing practices and strategies inhibit the growth of the industry by sacrificing potential new clients for returning clients. The industry has become over-specialized in catering to a niche that is growing smaller while neglecting to ensure sustainability through market expansion. This is particularly noticeable in the economic times such as which, what we are currently experiencing. The latest trends state that products currently in development may already be obsolete and that they are too similar to what many current bone owners already own, or too similar to those that are on the used bows market, and too foreign looking in aesthetics for anyone with no prior ties or interest in the marine industry to warrant a second look. Ask anyone experienced with boats and no prior interest to explain the difference between a Down East style boat and a North Sea trawler. Unless the two are different colors, the likely answer you're going to get is they look the same. My partner and I have studied various design concepts and trends throughout the marine industry, as well as automotive, aeronautical, and static structure architecture to better understand the designs that are enjoyed by a multitude of people. We concentrate on these designs that unify different markets by being conceptually beautiful and universally appealing. Careful planning and consideration are paid to every problem the design presents in a manner associated more with product development and yet than yacht design. We ensure the ergonomics flow of the boat's aesthetics without being cumbersome or appearing a secondhand taut. The entire design must maintain the purpose of its intent throughout the entire boat. This leads us to develop many iterations of the same product before finally accepting the best and continuing with the design. These are all things that present a single unified appearance on the final product and ultimately to the client. The 2500. The overall statement and concept is balance of power and elegance. There is nothing superfluous in its appearance or appointments. Its powerful and outward appearance in performance and its statement of wealth. Form and function had to be blended in such a way to promote a sense of speed and power while not inhibiting the performance, yet all the while provide a luxurious living space. The concept centered around modern minimalist approach to aesthetics, which hinted at nostalgia while being brutally simple about its purpose. The exterior lines translate the purpose to anyone who appreciates power, speed, and grace, whether it's performance, car enthusiast, a recreational pilot, or a power yacht enthusiast. The slightly rake bow adds hardness to the profile and certain shock value with its aggressiveness, yet also serves to dampen pitch while underway. Details such as the bow plate and blunted flag echoes designs from the Art Deco age when wealth and power are translated through simple symbols and materials. The overall effect is an understated elegance that would present itself as fashionable whether today or 10 years from now. The on-deck arrangement is kept simple to allow guests to enjoy the large cockpit area without feeling separated from the environment. The layout actually incorporates the sky and the sea into the arrangement by keeping the seating areas and serving areas the same heights. The layout is symmetrical, keeping in with the theme, which allows comfort and ease of movement for guests. The interior arrangement continues with the balance, but also incorporates a minimalist approach for living spaces. Intentions was made to allow no waste of space while not cramming every useful corner with a detail that would create clutter. The end result is an unusually spacious interior whose appointments and luxury are flaunted by expert simplicity. It is luxury by selection, not accumulation. The driving thought was to allow uncluttered fields of vision throughout the living space, is tricking the eye into thinking the space is larger than it is. An urban loft can best describe the feel of the main salon. Just below the windshield, a massive retracting skylight allows the sky to become the overhead of the salon and push its limits beyond the hull. The seating area and countertops are kept to a uniform height, creating horizontal lines which elongate the space, accenting this effects or recessed trim lighting. The companionway had to be dealt in such a way to keep from obstructing this view as well. The entertainment center had to be given a thought and the result was concealing it beside, behind a panoramic opening panel within the forward bulkhead. Oh. 
those are some particulars. 52 knots with the V16 option, 40 knots with the V12. She's not uh, green wise. <laughs> the BB35 is a scaled down version of the 250. On this design, we wanted to maintain the streamlined, aggressive appearance without that appearance becoming a limiting factor to accommodations. Attention was also directed at scaling the cost of production down to better appeal to the design market. Both boats are built using the same hull, structural grids, and identical machinery layouts. The deck arrangements for both, both the, the 35 Sport and Cruiser are kept simple and symmetrical. The simple arrangements diminish production costs and give the boat an uncluttered spacious area for entertaining without the maze of molded furniture. Below decks on the cruiser, a gratuitous living space is kept open throughout in efforts to maximize the space. The head boasts a generous separate shower stall without encroaching on any usable space in the living area. There is also a modest guest suite with double berth, hanging locker, and privacy. The city converts to a double berth for added accommodation. All in all, this would be a fine family weekender with the looks and feel of a roadster. In closing, Beck and Breckenfield Yacht Design offers design solutions for all aspects of the marine industry, whether it is a complete yacht design or product branding. We firmly believe the future of the industry rests on an effort to expand our line of products to those outside the confines of our current marketing strategies. But to do this successfully, we must develop products that are in sync with current trends. BMBYD is focused on this task. If you are intrigued by what I have presented here, then we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you. I love the